In today's journey, we take a look at hooking up inline beer filters in parallel formation. A big thanks to Bouncer for not only sending out this shirt and hat, but they also supplied all of the filters that we will be using today. However, we will be supplying all of our own opinions, along with all of the other mess that we'll be filtering through. That's two ounces of hops inside of 200 milliliters of water, if you're wondering. But that's not the star of the show. And technically neither are these filters, it's how we hook them in. The most common way that people are hooking up multiple filters is in series, starting with the coarsest and then working their way to the finest, and that's a great way to keep the dregs out. And in a perfect world, that's all you would ever need to do. But there can be a really big problem if one of these filters hits their saturation point. That is to say that once it filters out so much stuff, it's clogged, and these two are really easy to clog. So to better demonstrate our demonstration today, we're going to stick with the red filters, as their filtration will be more visibly graphic. We'll go with graphic. It'll make sense later. Now a fun fact here is that these two filters have about the same filtering capacity as this one filter by itself. That's because at the end of the day, it really comes down to screen area. And that's really the magic of parallel filters. But the real science is that there's a physical amount of hops that can actually fit inside one of these filters. And it turns out to be about an ounce and a half. So if these filters were in series, that would be an ounce and a half total. But in parallel, that's an ounce and a half each. How do we know this? Because we did it. We force fed one of these until it could take no more, dried it, and then weighed it. This is by no means the limit of how much you can put in a beer recipe. It's just how much got stuck in the filters themselves. So theoretically, if you had three filters in parallel, you could get four and a half ounces back from your beer. But you shouldn't be getting all of that much out if you're following other good brewing practices. For example, you can see that most of the hops have actually settled out of this beer already. And if I wasn't about to just stir it up anyways, I could probably just use a blue filter and just take the top level off. But by using a red, I'm also able to maximize the amount we withdraw from this vessel as well. As it's able to act as an insurance policy that nothing goes wrong. And now speaking of things going wrong, let's get this demonstration going. But first, let's thank Bouncer again for sending us the filters that we're using for this demonstration. And also thank you to Phil, who supplied us with the rest of the parts for this weird contraption. Including the Northern Brewer anti-gravity pump that is off camera. And because it's self-priming, we don't have to worry about priming it or starting a siphon or feeding it by gravity. Which is going to be super handy so that we can keep everything on camera as much as possible. And for the faint of heart, please keep in mind that we're creating a worst case scenario on purpose. Actually, if you want to see a real worst case scenario, check out our actual review on these products. That was just obscene. Don't worry, this won't, won't get out of control. But as you can see, there's already a huge benefit to having these filters hooked up in parallel. It's like having twice the filters. But let's get this show on the road. But wait, if both his hands are full, how do he turn on the pump? Never mind, let's focus on the really important part of this is our favorite way to set up in parallel. Because we're able to turn on and off the flow to the individual filters, that means we can wait until we have a problem before we switch over to the other filter. This means we have not only just expanded our surface area in our filter, but also we've created a redundancy in our system. If one side fails, we can switch. And sometimes the worst part about planning for failure, sometimes it doesn't happen. And for some reason, instead of Phil just remembering the fact it's a self-priming pump and he just has to change which side the inlet's on, he does this the hard way. It's painful to watch sometimes. Yeah, but rest assured, it's not alcohol abuse because it's literally just two ounces of hops in 200 milliliters of water. No yeast or sugar. And the bonus lesson of today is going to be the value of hose diameter in a second. He's fighting with the siphon tip, but the real problem here in a second is going to be the hose diameter. But I think we made our point about the benefit of parallel filters. Because, yeah, that's, that's definitely a clogged siphon tip. Normally not a major part of the filtration process, but in this case it is because of just the drastic amount of hops that are in here. Now, normally, everything wouldn't have been ruined by taking that siphon tip off, but because we're using 3 8 barb, 
it's going to get clogged. Had this been half inch barb, we'd have no problem. But unfortunately, it wasn't compatible with the pump we were using today. So that does mean that we have to cut this a bit early. So let's take a look at what we've actually caught in our filters then. And for some reason, instead of pre-draining the lines, Phil's decided to go in wet. Now, unfortunately, we're starting with the bottom filter, which is going to have next to nothing in it, given the fact that it clogged nearly right away in the lines. But had this gone without a hitch, this would be just as full as the next one we're going to open is. And that one, it's going to be a fun one. Just as much as when we come back to revisit these filters, we're going to put in four ounces. And we're going to get four ounces back. And no, they're not actually glued together. It's it's a different thing, but but it's actually easier to take the hoses off than to try to break them apart. It's a trade secret, but it's gorilla mounting tape. Here's another secret. Just because you have these two in parallel also doesn't mean that you couldn't have a finer filter in series down the line as well. It get unwieldy after a while, but you could keep adding filters. But here's the moment of truth to see how much we collected today. And damn, it always surprises me to see it come out. And that it expands as it dries. That part's always weird too. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Because if you like this video, then you'll definitely want to see when we make the ultimate filtration setup by taking some of the more extreme filters that we have here and then force them to do what they do best.